All right, my tricksters. You all been learning about small tech and, and all that jazz, right? Well, what if you, there was another thing you could do beyond just looking at your negative frames, but also what if you could turn your negative frames into positive frames? What if you could always be plus? What if it was always your turn? Well, this is something the best players in the world do. I'm going to show you a little secret about how you can master this technique utilizing something called distance from your opponent. Take a look. Here it is. Check it out. You see? Oop, that's a button. You don't want all that. Uh, let's have her do... Attack back with a jab. No, this is not extended hitboxes. So look at the bottom left-hand corner. It's a little thing called distance to the opponent. You see that number? It says one, two, three, four. It's an important number. Why is it important? Because if you are about here, I'm negative two. If I had a jab and step up right away, no dice, right? But if I'm like right up, so I'm hit where? I'm at 1.8, 1 1.6. When I jab, I'm about 1.5. I'll have her not tap me back so you can just see it clearly. 1.8, 1.68. So I'm here, 1.5, 1.15. Hit a button, and suddenly we're at 1.7, 1 1.69. Yeah, can you shoot that pool for me, please? Um, <laughs> we'll cut that out. No, you won't. We'll leave it in. Um, so. If I want to step, I won't get it here. But if I'm a little farther out, let's say I'm about 1.8, I can. Suddenly, so now the question becomes, okay, where can I, where do I need to stand in order to space this move properly so that I can still evade afterwards from negative two, up. Let's see, so we're at 1.0. We know 1.8 works, let's try 1.3. That doesn't work. What about 1.45? Still doesn't work. What about 1.58? Am I doing it right? Nope. What about 1.6? 1.7? There it is. You may also notice that at 1.7, we're almost like out of range, too. We could also backdash. Well, up close, we could also backdash, which is kind of cool. So we can't step, but we can backdash it, which is pretty dope. We can also do this with something else like this, negative three, which is another one where you can backdash. You can't evade. But say you want to stay up close for whatever reason. Find out how far you had to be. There it is. This will help you with your spacing. Thanks for following B, B, C, Wayne. Um, I'm also finding that it also helps with your back dashes too. Another thing to know is certain moves instantly push you far enough away. So like this move right here, we're going to turn off the block uh, button. Their attack. So we're two. We're two away. What about from about, let's see, 2.8 or 2.28. So we're about, that's about max range for this one move. 2.8. Three. So if you hit at the tip of your move, you're going to have more frames to work, more frames. Uh, I know a lot of tech people like to call it space to work with. I see why they call it space, because sometimes it actually is physical space. I like to think in terms of frames, you have more frames to work with, because it's easier for me. But you might want to use space, you might want to use frames. Whatever word works best for you, it's, it doesn't really matter so much. So long as you're, you're looking at your distance from your opponent. And now let's take a look here, because it changes how important certain moves become. So 
suddenly this move, I'm negative nine. I don't care that I'm negative nine. Look at how far away I am. I can even step. I can backdash. What if she did something that had a little more range, like a, I don't know, down back to four, like that? Whiffs. That's her using an 18 frame move. So it's a frame trap. If I mashed, I get counter hit. Right? Like that. But I can backdash it because of how much range I'm at. As long as I don't press too soon. We even. Can I, can I crush it? Oh, yeah, because it's a low. But as you see, it's pretty powerful. What else can you do this with? Down forward one. Look at our spacing. Let's use that move. That's pretty really good range. So you can find out how far can I be and land it using the distance from your opponent to really just know exactly where do you need to be. Or if you want to do something else like a down back, back turn thing, like that. What ranges can you use it? All right. So that's the more of the story here. The more of the story here is you want to look at those moves and find out what moves create a big push block. This is all about taking negative frames and make them your own. Make them your frames. Make them situations that you don't care if they get blocked. And you're also checking your opponent. Do they know that they shouldn't be pressing buttons here? because you have more options than they think, right? This is quite useful for, useful for stepping, I find, because sometimes I don't want to back off. I want to stay in your face like that. So I got to know, okay, well, where do I need to be before I do the move? And where do I need to be generally to, to, to be able to step you from certain frame advantages that typically I wouldn't be able to step you from? If I just looked at the frames like by themselves and didn't pay attention to spacing. And what you'll find is that you're, you're rarely going to be here. You're often going to be like right around here, which is still a little close. So like this is another one, I'm negative four. But if I space it out, which I'm often going to do, then I can step or Try it again. Now, do you get to press a button? Yes, you can. Okay. So that is how you go about finding. That's how you go about finding ways to utilize a little use tool, which is your distance from your opponent as a means to better uh, knowledge check your opponent, better understand your own moves, better space your own attacks, and just create more gaps and spaces for outplaying your opponent if they are unaware of the fact that I'm negative nine, but not really. Not really if I know what to do. Oh, and like watch Small Tech, and if you missed that earlier, it's over here. If you wanna know what Small Tech is, if you're like, what's Small Tech and what you talking about? This is the building up of that video, right? there or here this area you'll find it over here check it out that'll help you all right bye